Hey guys, welcome back to Cask and Q, where sometimes it rains. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're gonna grill up some pork chops and finish them off with a whiskey honey glaze, so stick around. All right, everybody, so what we have here are two uh, bone-in pork chops that I picked up from local grocery store today. They didn't have the cuts that I was really looking for, which were some really thick probably twice this size, um, center cut pork chops, but we're rolling with what we got. Uh, today we're gonna be applying Count Porcula, the rub. Um, go ahead and check them out in the link below in the description. I'll put a link there so you can, uh, so you can buy some of your own. It's a local barbecue joint. Uh, they have some really good rub and happens to be one of my favorites. And yeah, I know the guys, but uh, that doesn't change the fact that they make a delicious rub. Also, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that below. Be sure and click that bell as well so that you get notifications when I upload a new video. So I've already uh, just put some uh, of that Count Porcula rub in a shaker and we're going to get that applied. We're going to season these guys pretty heavily because I want to form a pretty good crust on these pork chops. Come on shaker, there we go. All right, man, that smells really good. You can already tell some of the uh, aroma from the rub coming up. It's just a really good blend of spices they have going on over there at Count Porcula. Let's be sure and get the fat cap because that's delicious too. Again, pretty healthy coating of this stuff. By the way, they're going to be opening a new location. Shout out to Kelly Lovell and Walt Todd. Thanks for providing the rub today. All right, we're gonna let this sit for just a little while. Let the rub kind of tack up and pull out some of that moisture on the pork chops. Right now I have the grill set for about 275 and we're gonna smoke with uh, some cherry wood today and just some uh, lump charcoal off-brand that I found at the grocery store. So we'll get these guys smoked uh, to an internal temperature. I'm gonna go to about 140, and then I'm gonna apply the whiskey glaze and let that tack up and get good and sticky and delicious. And then we'll pull these off and, uh, and let them rest for a little bit. Be right back. All right, guys, smokers right where we want it as far as temperature goes right at about 250 so we're gonna throw these pork chops right on the grill and let those guys get some good cherry smoke and uh, pull them once we hit about well we're gonna glaze them once we hit about uh, 140 degrees internal as you can see Count Porcula's rub really did a good job of putting some color on those pork chops they're gonna turn out fantastic and we'll be back soon All right, folks, we're back at the smoker. Whoosh. Let's see what these chops are looking like. Oh, man. All right, let's see what the temperature is. We're reading about 138. Go ahead and flip them real quick. Whoosh. Let's go ahead and flip these guys just to say we did. Bloop. You like my fancy spatula? I know, I'm so cool. All right, let's let those guys go for just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get that glaze started and we're gonna apply it. All right, since those chops are getting close to being done and it's time to apply the glaze, we're gonna go ahead and make our glaze. We might just be a little bit late, but that's all right. Uh, so this is a uh, maple syrup whiskey glaze. We start off with a thing of butter and a little bit of whiskey. 
about that much. Then we're going to get into some local honey that I got. Then we're going to add some local honey. Let's see, can you see that? There we go. I like to go pretty heavy on this stuff. So let's see how... Yum. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, sorry. Pitmaster privilege. All right. And also have some just um, plain old maple syrup here. Just best choice stuff I picked up at the grocery store. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Bloop, 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 bloop. I like the maple syrup. All right, that's plenty. Probably too much, actually. And we're just going to go set this on the grill and let it come up, uh, let it get nice and warm. All right, so we're just going to get this uh, glaze put on the smoker. Uh, let's put it over here. We'll just let that go till it gets nice and melted down, and then we'll apply it to the uh, pork chops, and we'll be back. Okay, these chops are ready to get some glaze. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out. Man, that smells delicious. I can smell the uh, little bit of the whiskey. Uh, the maple syrup is definitely coming through, and so is the honey. So we'll just kind of paint that on there. Oh man, when that uh, syrup or glaze, I should say, hits the, the coals beneath the pork chops, man, it just makes for a fantastic smell. I wish you guys could smell this. It's something else. I think we got ourselves a winner with this glaze. Probably should have gotten a little thicker though. That's all right. Okay, I think that's about enough for now. So we'll shut it, shut down the Kamado and come back and hit the other side in just a minute. We're back at the Kamado and these guys are ready to come off. As you can tell, it's nice and sticky. It's a perfect glaze. So we're gonna remove these and let them rest for a little bit. There's one. Oh man, that's just, <laughs> it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. All right, and there's two. We're just gonna let these guys go for a little bit. Veggies are good sometimes, I guess, whatever. Should we hit them with some of that glaze? Yeah, of course we should. Stupid veggies. They need flavor. Yeah, they do. Don't tell me you wouldn't do the same thing. Don't judge me. Yeah, they're veggies, but they need butter and whiskey and honey and maple syrup. Makes them better. Maybe my kids will eat them. Oh, wait, whiskey. No, can't do that. Scratch that. Don't tell anybody. Scratch that. All right. So we'll let those go for a little bit and we'll be back. All right, everybody, we got this bone in pork chop rested and ready to slice. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Really juicy, really uh, smoky. You know, I gotta get a bite. And as you can see, it's looking really nice, so let's get into this thing. Oh my gosh. That glaze is money. Mm-hmm. You should definitely try this. It's so good. That Count Portula rub's coming through, the honey the maple syrup, a little bit of the flavor from the bourbon. Let's give this end cut a try. So let's give this end cut a try. Look at the juices in that thing. It's unreal. It's so good. 
Mm-hmm. You should do this immediately. It beats the heck out of paying beef prices, too. I think I paid like $5 for both the uh, pork chops. Let's get that sad little tomato. Mmm. Yes. That's a winner, folks. Definitely got to do this. Okay, everybody. Definitely try this. It's a winner. Uh, it's going to please everybody in the family. The bourbon is not overpowering. Heck, if you don't want to use the bourbon, you don't have to. The glaze will still be excellent. So thanks for tuning in once again to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. We'll see you next time.